Audi. Right in front of the cop car. Jeez. Hey everyone, Larry Chen here. We are on the big island of Hawaii. We are on the Kona side, which is the west side. We're out here with Toyota shooting the new Tacoma, but I figured we'd do like a little pop-up meet the last day before we have to fly out. A lot of cool cars showed up and a lot of cars are leaving, but uh, I didn't have a chance to do an intro. So I'm gonna do my intro now and then I'll show you guys the video. A lot of cool cars showed up, including, look at this thing. Yeah, gets a little rowdy here. But um, it's so beautiful, that is Maui. You can actually see it from the big island and it's so clear. But this is a full lava flow. We had a bunch of goats here. This is um, something that I've never been able to see. I've only traveled to Oahu and I've done a bunch of videos on Oahu on this channel, just to kind of showcase a little bit of local Hawaiian car culture but I've never had a chance to shoot car culture here. Everybody on Oahu tells me that the cars here are on a different level because of the fact that they actually have a quarter mile drag strip and they have sanctioned SCCA autocross. They have a lot of car culture enthusiasts here on this island. So I've always been excited to come here and I finally had the opportunity to do so. And now we're closing out our trip with a fun little pop-up meet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Josh, thanks for coming. You have to go to work. Yeah. But I want to see your dope. Is this the space shuttle? Is This is, this is yeah, this is a shuttle, uh, but it's not a shuttle shuttle from Europe. Uh, 90 Civic Wagon, RT4, uh, D16 Z swap, eBay special turbo. Let's check it out. Yeah, Let's check it out. Sure, this looks sure. so cool. This is the island special. So cool. I love this so much. Wait a minute, so is this all wheel drive? Yeah. It's still all wheel drive. Still all wheel drive. 270 some odd thousand miles on that all wheel drive system. So this is not the original motor. D16 Z6 swap. And then just quick eBay turbo, run boost at it till it dies and then build it correctly. You're. <laughs> I love how casual you are. Yeah, like it's gonna happen. Yeah, that's part of it. This is so cool. Thank you. So, how much power does this make? I uh, haven't it? put it on a dyno yet. I would guess probably 180, maybe two. Hopefully, that's got to be fun with this all-wheel drive, though. Yeah, huh? Super fun. We'd take it over to uh, the autocross and zip it around there. Huh? And it's manual. And it is, it's manual with the super low, what? the granny gear. So, and then it really like takes it's, off. That's out of the for hole. like traffic. <laughs> super low. Yeah, super low. Well, I've never seen that before. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, on the 959. Yeah. I guess there's like a super low. The super also. low, like just like a crawly. Because I brought this from Colorado. So it did Denver traffic. So you just put it in super low, let your foot off the clutch, it just pulls you up. But it's also for like if you actually need to if crawl you, over if something. If you, yeah. Because this is usually much, Wait, much so taller. If you put it in a super low and you floor it, it's weak. <laughs> you go like 15, maybe. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, it gets there quick. You, you could pretty much almost spin all four. Huh? Yeah, that'd be <laughs> one day. <laughs> I love that. This is so cool. Thank you. Honda Denver made yep. it all the way to Hawaii. All the way, Kona. I love it. This is so cool. I love it. This is what I love about car culture cool cars on a budget that can still play. This is obviously functional because he doesn't take it to autocross. Nice. Sounds good. All wheel drive, the thing is sick. So cool. All right, thanks for coming. Oh guys. Yeah, yeah. You match your car. Yeah, I just came straight from work today. I heard you were coming, so I had to come out here. Dude, but... thanks for coming. So oh, thank how you. many Mark IVs are actually on the island? I think there's only like six of us on the island. So, and it's funny because three of them live within five minutes of each other. So it's pretty cool, but. The community is so small. Uh, I understand that this is NA and automatic still, mm -hmm. but that's gonna change probably pretty soon. Yeah, huh? hopefully in the next six months or so, I'm planning to do a turbo swap with a V160 transmission inside, so 
Yeah, but, so we actually had a chance to shoot uh, with Alex, who's actually probably going to help yeah, you. Yeah. Um, he built that really awesome 2J swapped Tacoma, the yeah. lifted one, yeah. that is still four-wheel drive, which I think is super cool. Yeah, beautiful truck, yeah. yeah. Alex does nice work. So I've been in contact with him, and we've been talking about doing something with this car, so hopefully did, soon. Did you buy this on the island, or did yeah. you ship this over? No, I bought it. 15 minutes from where I lived, a guy had it in his garage and I got it for a really good deal, low mileage. So, been doing so all the cool. work. Your play is the probably the coolest one <laughs> that you could have for you being a super nerd. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, incredible. but work in progress. I do a lot of the work myself. Me and my brother in law, Ian, he helped me out with some body work, but I painted this in my garage. Oh, really? Yeah. What was it originally? Red. Okay, yeah, you wanted red. that Fast and Furious yeah. vibe? Yeah. yeah, it's kind of an iconic color, so, and I fell in love with this car because of the movie, kind of like everybody else, yeah. so. Oh, cool. cool, thank you. Next victim behind you. Mm -hmm. This is the only Pontiac Fiero on, on the on island. island of Hawaii. As of right now, it's the only running one so far. Uh, it's really cool being a one of one. Uh, it's also not really cool being a one of one because I cannot find anything for this car ever. Plans for this is going to be, I want to get a K20, throw it straight in the back over here and mesh it with whatever transmission I can. I won't lie to you, I'm not the greatest mechanic ever. I'm just a huge race car enthusiast. All I want to do really is make this thing go fast. It's really nice to steer. The fact that it's mid-engine makes it feel like it's on rails whenever I'm driving this. I like to drive it up uh, Hululoa whenever I go home and man, does this thing get down. How did you find this? I was... So I was about to go to work and my dad calls me and he goes, hey son, I have this really cool car that you might want to buy. Uh, come down and check it out. I'm like, shoot, yeah, whatever, let's go. So I get down there and this old man opens up a barn and underneath the car cover, 1988 Pontiac Fiero. So I'm like, shoot, I'll pick it up, whatever. I love GM, I never knew they made a mid-engine vehicle that isn't a C8 Corvette. A little messy on the inside. <laughs> Wait a minute, how old are you? I am 20 years old. You are, you're like an old soul for, li <laughs> for liking this kind of car. I, I just, I've always been a huge GM fan. Um, and I also really liked mid-engine vehicles. Uh, I like rally racing, I like rally driving. I was following uh, Group B for a while and I was like, oh, mid-engine on gravel, on dirt? That doesn't make any sense. And then I found the Lancia Stratos. I thought it kind of looked like this car. I thought it kind of felt like this car. So I bought it. I wanted it. Dude, this thing is just so cool. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Gotta you gotta love the pop-up headlights. Yeah. I love this mechanism so much. I think this is so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to clean her up. She's super messy right now, but all in due time. This is my favorite project by far. I love this car with all my heart and soul. Its name is uh, Pamela the Pontiac. Pamela the Pontiac. Mm. I love well, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so absolutely. stoked on seeing the different kind of cars and car culture that's on the Big Island. Yeah, it's awesome. It's everywhere. Are you gonna take this to autocross when it's done? Or? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'm I'm surprised it made it down here. <laughs> now I have to go back to work. So that's gonna be good fun. luck. Good luck. Have fun, Mike. Tell me about your off-road machine here. So this is my '93. Mazda Miata. I got it for my friend's mom. It was uh, broken down, rotten away. And my friend bought it as basically a rental car. Replaced the windshield on it. This was a rental car? He bought it as like a beat up style um, island beater. Like, oh, not a it. rental car, but he want, needed something cheap to use for six months. So yeah. we bought it and started the life with like that. And then he beat it up and left it at my house. And it was just completely like faded paint rust bucket, we didn't know what to do with it, and I kind of just started from there. I've always uh, seen people lower Miatas, but then I kind of ran across Jim Jim's page on YouTube where he built the off-road Miata, and it just kind of went from there, the inspiration. Hi, Yada. I understand that there's no um, smog emissions here, mm -hmm. so pretty much anything that you're doing with a motor you can get away with, but there are safety inspections that you have to do. Yeah, so they are a little lenient on the islands about like exhaust stuff, so I have an ISR performance exhaust from the header all the way back. And they don't care too much about that. They don't really have sound restrictions. I, they can ticket you over here for it, but um, most cops are pretty cool, pretty yeah. lean about like it. Like we so. got a cop right here, and uh, he's super cool. I'm probably gonna ask him to show us <laughs> that should. thing on camera so I can just see it. So yeah, this is just basically my build. I have another motor for this thing. 
it was automatic and then the transmission started to fail, so I did a manual swap, stage two clutch, lightweight flywheel, rebuilt the cool. motor. Do you ever off-road this on the island? I do, quite a bit, it's super fun. It's comparable to a go-kart, like a pre-runner style truck go-kart. Yeah. Um, turning radius is, is really good on it. It's got quite a bit of travel for what it is. That's so cool. Well, thanks for showing us your build. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for coming. Right on, yeah. yeah. Travis, thanks for sh setting this up. Um, yeah. I'm so glad you reached out to me because, <laughs> you know, anywhere I travel, anywhere I go in the world, I love seeing the local car culture, you know? And I've been able to shoot a lot of the car culture in Oahu, but I've never been able to shoot on Big Island, you know? And with that said, I've had a chance to go to the Hilo side. I've had a chance to go to Ryan's shop, yeah. right? To check out some of his builds. But this is cool because this is like a little pop-up meet yeah. and it's not too crazy. It's a select few cars, yeah. uh, a lot of autocrossers, but you actually brought your autocross vehicle <laughs> here. This thing is absolutely insane. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I found the supercharger for 300 bucks on eBay. Kind of just made a whim. I bought it. Um, and then just kind of over the course of a year, kind of figured out a way to make it happen. I originally uh, made the template out of Ipe wood and figured you, out. You carved this out of wood. Dude, I, dude, it, look at all the shavings under, like this thing still got all the aluminum shavings in there. I just, I literally just put my back against the front of the car and sat there with the die grinder and just, Zip, 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 zip. Hold on, hold on. You're telling me you ran this supercharger with I ran wood? It. Yeah, I, ran, I did about five pulls on it, and it was leaking a little bit, like, through the grain a little bit. You are a real one, sir. <laughs> you are incredible. I try. That is so cool. And then, so after that, you... Um, did you like 3D scan it or something and then send it to a shop to do like a CNC? Or nope, I have got an old piece of crap uh, mill and I and it's not even CNC, it's just back and forth. I just sat there and exosketched that sucker out over the course of like, probably took me six months. Had to figure out where every bolt went, had to figure out where how the passages went. But making this allowed me to like figure out exactly like how stuff would flow and fit through. This and is so intricate for it being wood. I can't believe, I've never seen this. You know, you think you've seen it all. <laughs> I've been shooting cars for 20 years. I've never seen anybody prototype. And uh, I ran in it. Intake manifold out of wood. <laughs> this is so crazy. And it's not just one side, obviously. It's a V8, Yeah. so it's two sides. Oh, two sides. Yeah. Yo. I. <laughs> I love this so much. I can't believe it. So you probably had to make sure not to torque it too, too tight. Dude, it, this stuff actually torques harder than aluminum. It's Ipe. It's, it, it, it doesn't float. Ah. It's so hard. And I was going to do originally a four inch block, but it's just one of those things where I, it seems like I always fall into these situations where I can't get what I want to get. And so I make uh, what I have work and, and it, it, it tends to really do well. So this, um, this is your autocross car? Yeah. It's a, uh, what year is it? It's a 93 uh, Lexus SC400 with 326,000 miles on it. Engine's never been opened. I got 10 pounds of boost running through it right now. Did you ever have a chance to dyno this thing? Nope. But how does yeah. it work? Like, how did you get it to run correctly? Like right now, the stock computer is working all right. And then as soon as I do the manual swap, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna get a, an aftermarket ECU for it. But like, this is a serious autocross car. You're running 315 uh, AO52, Yokohama AO52 squared setup on here yeah. for autocross. So uh, that's yeah. a lot of grip. <laughs> that's actually uh, even wider, way wider than my A90 Supra <laughs> setup. You know, the fact that you could fit them on here, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's so wide, it's just so much meat. And they're disappearing. Yeah, that, that's your fault. <laughs> but I, I love that the autocross community here is pretty big. It, we're actually, a, it's a smaller group. I didn't even know about it for the longest time. But like once you get in, man, it's, it's amazing. And we have, I don't know, I, I probably gonna catch flack for it, but I think it's just so much more entertaining than the quarter mile, you know? 
You, yeah, I it, mean, to each his own, you know? Yeah. You could do both. But you, uh, you can do both, but I mean, I don't know, just you got 60 seconds to get out there and you there's no pause. I mean, unless you're running, you know, below 11 seconds or 10 seconds, I mean, there, it's either gas or brake in the autocross, you know? There's no, like, yeah. there's no coast, there's no, hey, should I shift? No, I can wait. Okay, I'll get shift, okay. Well, if you have any lapsing concentration, you're running over two, three cones <laughs> yeah. and losing time. And that's kind of the problem I had with this is I, I'm kind of, I got a little stumble and then the supercharger kicks in, scares the living piss out of me, and then I overshoot the cone. Uh, so I, I got some work I still got to do on this. Uh, this but. is so cool. All right, I'm going to check out some of the other cars. Thank you so much. Shoots. Thank you. Really, really. Take care. And also, I got, uh, I got laid from your... Don't People. say it. Yeah, I, 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 but you know what I mean. You're part of the autocross community. That's right. Actually. Yeah. So, so I, I've been actually been designing the tracks for him for about three years now. Huh. So Joel Payne, P A Y N E, uh, moved out to the island about five years ago from Southern California. Uh, Love the car culture. Um, Wait, did you run uh, like Solo Two SCCA in Southern California? Uh, I did, but just periodically. I was more okay. do, the, doing the like speed ventures, run what you run, big track got kinds it, of stuff. Got it, so got it. Okay. Uh, I didn't build this car for any particular class. I built this car because I'm an engineer. Yes. Uh, 1990 Mazda RX-7. Had the car since 2005. It doesn't feel like an old car. And then you sound like, wait, that's 33 years old now. Um, so my first V8 is now a coffee table. It had a oil starvation problem and windowed both sides of the block. Um, and uh, this is actually an LS2 stroker. So it's a 429 cubic inch, makes about 600 horsepower, um, all in A, and uh, it's is, truly, truly a labor of love. Is this the quickest autocross car on the island? Uh, I'm usually in contentious for fastest time of day, but autocross is all handicapped. So in order to actually like, I've been fastest time of day and still been 13th out of 30 cars. Right. So, so, like, but so I can, I can win my class, but winning the overall is, uh, that's a hero's venture when you got a really modified car. God. So we run on a, uh, on a go-kart track just uh, outside the Hilo airport, right next to the drag strip. They kind of, they got a dirt circle track and motocross yep. and yep. all this kinds of stuff down there. But, that is cool. Uh, like what are some of the other really fast uh, autocross vehicles. So ironically, the black Miata over here with the, with the Wiley Coyote sticker, uh -huh. um, Wilk is such a damn wheel man, and he's so light on a small track that like, I don't have a whole lot of places I can really put the power down. And it's in 1990. There's no traction control. There's no ABS. This it's is just like your right foot. this is this yeah. is a, this is yeah. And I'm not a professional. So at the end of the day, I'm a decent wheel man. But I do it because I love it. That is so uh, cool. More than anything else. I love it. So. It's. It's very wide. So, yep. These fenders were originally made by, uh, by TriPoint Engineering. They stopped making them, and it was the only wide body that I liked. So the original line of the car was straight off the door. In fact, you can see on the one, on the one next to me over here. But this is so, actually like no bolt-on or anything like that. It's, it's, just... it's, it's molded in and feathered all the way. But I've also got closeouts and whatnot. So, I mean, as a fiberglass fender, you can actually whale on that and it, it's not going anywhere. Wow, this so, is super um, cool. I ended up finding the guy that TriPoint had sold the molds to and founded a company because other people wanted these things. Yeah, and you're so, actually helping other people do uh, V8 swaps. That's too. right. So I'm on, I'm on the island. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, we ship parts to Australia. I've got a partner still in Southern California. The name of the company is Ronin Speedworks. But yeah, I do all the design, I do all of our communication now here from Hawaii while having a day job working on the Dian telescopes. That is so cool, really cool. Thank you uh, so much for coming out. Um, hopefully one day I get to check out one of your autocross events. Well, this, uh, this car is kind of like old school hot rodding where it has pieces from like 16 different vehicles. The brakes are from a Nissan 350Z. Um, at one point it had like a Volvo fan and radiator. The speedometer is from an Integra. Um, so figuring out ways to make parts work rather than just buying something off the shelf, you end up with something a little bit more interesting. That is so cool. But, uh, I love it. I should probably turn it on for you because it sure. does make a joyful noise. Oh, really? Is so it very loud? It's, uh, right. it's, it's something. Okay. So it's uh, dual threes to dual four-inch core mufflers because I read a book, uh, uh, David Vizard, How to Build Horsepower. They had a bunch of theory on exhaust. And, uh, well, the theory works, but uh, it is loud as balls. Oh, my God. You're like 
you're gonna catch the plants on fire. <laughs> that was awesome. Hold on. That was cool. Well, I like to tinker, and I love the fact that car culture is, it kind of brings people together. It attracts oh, yeah. the young and old, the that's rich and poor. Why we why got every ethnicity here. here today. Yeah, like, that's, that's why we're all out here. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Here we go. Next victim. Dude, this thing is so rowdy. This thing is crazy. What do you use this for? Autocross? Drag racing? Drag racing? Yeah, it makes about 800 on the, on the bottom. What does this do uh, in the quarter? Uh, I ran a 10.3 at 140 right now. 60 oh foot, my you need God. to work on a little bit. But Wait, how much, how much nitrous are you? We're only spraying about 125, but we're gonna turn it up to about 300 next week. It's direct port. Next week? Yeah. yeah. So cool. Yeah. This thing about, is awesome. We've had it done for about a year. This has got to be so rowdy to drive on the island, huh? Oh yeah, one of the funnest cars to drive on the I island. I love it. I yeah. love it. It sounds incredible. So, what do you have, like launch control or something? Or? So it's on a Haltech 2500 Elite, so it has launch control, everything built into it, traction control, anything. So, and it sprays, it pulses the nitrous. So wait, is it? It's not. Is it supercharged? No nitrous. Nitrous. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all that. Oh, big bottles. Yeah. Oh. Yo, this thing is rowdy. So cool. You guys have a great day. Yeah, thanks for coming. You're welcome. Beautiful car. Thank you. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh-oh. That is rowdy. Right in front of the cop car. Jeez. So you actually came here and everybody was telling me, they're like, oh no, the Popo are here. Uh, and you are actually a police officer. Yes. On the big island. Yes. Thank you so much for your service. <laughs> no, no problem. But you're also a car nerd, like yes. all of us. You have an A86 that you're building. Mm -hmm. But I was actually curious about your patrol vehicle. This is actually your car or this yes. is actually your truck yes so how is it because i've been driving around on the big island and i've seen people with all sorts of different patrol vehicles uh -huh. i've seen like a, a, a bunch of forerunners a sequoia a trd pro i've seen like a camaro ss yeah i've seen all of these interesting cars and i've even heard that or, or from what you've been telling me before we started rolling there was actually a hellcat police car on the island too. Yes. So what's the what's the deal with that? How's that even possible? So for us, the county pays us to put in a vehicle that meets certain specs, and then they give us a subsidy to help pay for the vehicle, the payments, the maintenance, and everything like that. So if it blows, shocks, tires, it's, it, it's all stuff that we have to pay for. Got it. But, but they it, give you like an allowance yes. uh, to have a vehicle that meets the standards yeah. of it being a police vehicle. Yes, so for us, um, it's more efficient that way. And with, with that, everyone gets creative with whatever cars that they get because of the, the guidelines are, they're pretty general. So it's not luxury vehicles and it has to be certain engines and no hybrids, no electric. So, so like that. that way you could drive it home you could just go right to work, pretty much. Yeah. Right. So, Versus having to go to the station and then going out. Yeah. So um, most people, you know, we'll we'll start from home. We'll we'll have to go to our workstation wherever that is across the island, down the road, and then basically we just put on our light and then we just go to work and then we'll just. It is just a normal like a normal police light. You could just. Yeah, so it's Put, just tack it on top. Yeah, so it's just a 2016 uh, Forerunner. That's what I have. Um, and then there's there's mounts. They put in our lights. Uh, they put in a radio. They put in whatever we need to. We can request to put in more lights, like in the grill on the back end. Ah. Okay. Um, and then for us, but the minimal is just like the blue yeah, lights that you the, put on the top. The minimal is just one blue light right at the top. Got it. Got um, it. For us at my level, yes. That is so cool. Yeah. I mean, that, that makes complete sense. But also, it makes everybody scared when they see a 4Runner with a little antenna on yeah. top. 
they know you know the the you guys are around. <laughs> yeah. I think it's crazy. Yeah. But of course, you know, you're a car enthusiast too. And yeah. it's cool that you're building your own project vehicle. One more thing. Can I show the patch? Yeah, no problem. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this. So check it out. This is this is your actual patch. Like are you able yeah, to give so, these out and yeah, stuff? Yeah, so it it that's the same patch that goes on our, our uniforms and we, we have it for for people. We don't give it away for free, but for for certain people, yeah, we give it away. This is so cool. Like I love this so much. It's incredible. Like I'm I'm gonna treasure this. This is actually gonna go on the roof of my FJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. There's a lot of cool cars here. But honestly, I think this is probably the cleanest one that showed up to this little oh, meet. Thank you. This is so cool. So what is this? 86 uh, Honda CRX. Where did you find this? Facebook Marketplace. I think a young kid had bought it from like a grandpa and he had problems with it he couldn't fix. All the blinkers and hazard lights weren't working so he couldn't get it safety and I got it for real cheap and fixed it up. Like this is in such good condition. Yeah. This is incredible. This is so good. So, are you just gonna restore it completely? Yeah, uh, it has a Weber carb and a deck and coilovers and I pretty much just leave it like that. Can we take a look at the engine bay? Sure. But I have so many cars, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it has over 200,000 miles and it just runs like a top, so I'm not gonna mess with it. it I so might cool. put a new Weber carb, because that one, I did some SCCA and under hard acceleration in corners, it kind of died on itself, but that's it the only problem. So, so cool. I love it. It's super yeah. clean. It's good to uh, see these still on the, out on the road. Yeah. Uh, it's rare for Hondas to not have gone through the whole process that you see so many of them in. You yeah, know. they get destroyed. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. So, yeah, Thanks for bringing it out. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Just moved from PA, yep. from Pennsylvania. Yep, it's been uh, to like 23 states. This actually climbed Mount Washington. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then uh, Mauna Kea over there, up to 14,000, whatever that is, 13,000. Do you have to like apply for a permit to drive up there or something? So it has to be four wheel drive. So they actually, guys climbing underneath the car to make sure there, were, there was a rear end and axles and everything underneath, checking it out, and then they let me climb up there. Is it all dirt or is it it's, loose rock? It's, it's all kind of like lava rock that's lightly packed the whole way up. It's pretty cool. So then, tell me about your build. This thing is super cool. So it's a 17 Golf. They made a couple hundred all-wheel drive ones. This is one of them. The uh, transmission went, so it's now got a Golf R Trans, Golf R Turbo. Everybody has fun with it. We take it out autocross. It's a good time. <laughs> Whoa, you autocross this wagon. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's done uh, New Hampshire Motor Speedway and uh, Summit Point Motor Speedway as well. And you have a pretty serious uh, tire setup, yeah. too. It's, it's meant to go, it's it's a good toy. <laughs> and you have Porsche brakes. Yep, Porsche Macan four pistons, uh, 345 rotors, then Golf R brakes in the back. This is so cool, I love this. <laughs> it's been a fun project, it really can, has. Can I check out that engine bay? Yeah, let me And uh, plus you have here. seats too? Yeah, uh, go ahead, pop the door, they're Corbo. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen one of these in the wild. <laughs> yeah. This is so from, cool. I can't believe you have Leno's stuff. Yeah, from Walmart, because it's so cool. It works good for the red paint. That is awesome. Okay, so you got GTI seats in the back. Yeah, and they're like one of the only sets in the country that actually the remote release works, because I spent like three hours making that happen. Corbo seats in the front. So how many of these are on the island here? I think probably about five. This might be the only all-wheel drive one, though. Got it. You got Porsche brakes? Yeah. See, I love this about the car culture here. It's like you know like how many yeah. <laughs> of what car is here because it's such a small community. Yeah, there's 200,000 of us on the island. Like that's it. So if you've seen it, you know it stands out. Everybody knows I'm the red wagon on the island. Like it stands out. <laughs> it's cool. So cool, so cool. Yeah. So then does it make more power with the... Yeah, with the Golf R Turbo, it's like 380 to the wheels somewhere around there. That's good for yeah. this. Yeah. 380. For a little 1.8. I love it. Yeah. Is this way different than Pennsylvania? Oh, it's very you? different. But it's fun. Everybody everybody jumps in to help everybody. So, like, I grew up in the track day community. Everybody will punch in to help if something breaks. Everybody does the same thing out here. Or they'll let you borrow a car if something breaks and you're at the track or 
they'll help you out however they can. It's awesome. I carry a toolkit with me to help everybody out too, so that's what we're here for. I love it. This is so cool. And it's Thank very you. different. Like, there's a lot of us, like, you see today, there's actually another VW. This is crazy this happens. There's no VW, BMW, Volvo mechanics on the island, so it's like... Wait, it, is, there, there's, is there a Volkswagen dealership the Only here? Volkswagen dealer is Oahu, so if you have a maintenance issue, you have to ship it over island or fix it yourself here. That is so crazy yeah. to me. That. Yeah, there's a BMW on the Kona side, but there's nothing, I'm from the Hilo side, there's nothing over there. Huh, cool. Well, yeah. thanks for bringing out your ride. <laughs> yeah, it's been yeah, fun. Nice thanks to Thanks for you. coming over. Yeah. Well, Dude, what, what is this? This is crazy. <laughs> the car culture here is so strong. It, it, is, it is pretty strong and, you know, it's you. So, no, you know, that, that, that helps. Oh my God. Now, now, now it's, uh, we're gonna, yeah. it's about to turn into a sideshow here. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> It's crazy. I, I've met so many people across the island on the other side, on the East Coast. A lot of people are so complimentary of your builds and what you're bringing to the community. I don't know. It's just cool. It's like you, you've become part of the whole Hawaiian car yeah. culture scene. Yeah. Yeah. I think the thing here that is maybe a little bit different on the mainland, uh, I feel like everybody here wants to see everybody win, and, you know, with, with their builds. Um, and it doesn't always feel like that's the case. I think part of that's you know, small, small, small island, even though it is the big island, it's still a small community. So uh, I think that's what makes the car culture here special. Let's check out your RX-7. So okay. unfortunately, this was actually behind your Mark IV Tesla, and then it was also under your R34. So yes. we couldn't get this out when we were shooting the other day, but now you've actually taken it out, and yeah. now I'm actually looking at it, and it looks perfect. It's been well cared for. It was built by a guy in, uh, I think it's Southern California, and he did an amazing job, kind of a no expense spared. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah. This is crazy. Amazing. So then how often do you get to drive this? Well, un unfortunately not enough. You see, I live in the jungle, so it does rain a lot, and uh, so it doesn't get out quite as much as I'd like, but uh, the first time it's been out this year. Unfortunately, I think I average around four or 500 miles a year on, on each car, so not much. I guess that's the thing is you having all these nice cars plus you being away from, I guess, the, the city centers. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's tough to justify bringing your cars out, but it just, it looks so good. Have you done anything to it since you bought it? Very, very little. I added a couple carbon pieces to it um, that I wanted, but yeah, when I found this car, it was kind of checked every single box that I wanted, except for the motor. The, the motor's not, not my choice, but the guy that did the installation did such a great job. The car's so balanced. It's so clean. Yeah, yeah, the guy did, a, like I said, did a great job. That's why it's hard for me to, you know, decide like all right let's Jeez. put a 2j in it that'd be my choice would be a 2j um, yeah. but it's it's hard to do that when it's you know it's reliable it, it's done right so. this is so cool can can you give us a ride later sure Dude, this thing is actually pretty quiet yeah yeah it's you know definitely my calmest car you know stock ls3 it's quiet it's comfortable you know i love that this is your calmest car i, I mean it is pretty Low key, right? Do you think? I guess. <laughs> up the road here yeah why is it because it's straight or yeah so straight straight away um you know you have the scenic point there to you know everybody goes and parks there afterwards um you know they can see a good distance because you know they obviously line up in oncoming traffic yeah um so they're doing it late at night it's not something i do Got um it. but uh <laughs> some folks here yes do yep, it yep yeah. But it's a good vantage point, and the road is literally no one out here right. at that Middle time. Of, of yeah. Got it. So, and they got flaggers at both sides. So they are trying their best to 
to be safe about it, I think. I had um, no idea. I, I seriously had no idea this kind of culture existed here. But, um, yeah, it's cool. They're, they're doing what they can with what they have. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think right here you'll... Uh, well, right up start here. seeing some marks, huh? Yeah, I think this is, yeah, there's oh, the yeah, line right, right there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And they go that way. Yeah. They go downhill. Yeah, they run that oh. way. Yep. Okay. Yeah, not, not too bad for all stock. It's awesome. Doesn't sound like a rotary, but it still sounds nice. That sounds good. <laughs> um, thanks for showing us this build. I know for a fact next time I come on this island, I want to feature your Hako. And actually, I would love to ride in your all-wheel drive uh, Tesla-powered Mark IV Supra. Um, I had such a good time because when I came back from our shoot, a lot of the Toyota executives asked me, what did I shoot today? And I was like, <laughs> you are not even going to believe what I shot today. I hope you didn't get my address. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you won't believe it. And then they were just blown away. Yeah. I showed them pictures and they're like, oh my God, this is here? Yeah. <laughs> they're like, how did you connect with them? I'm like, I literally just, just two hours before I was like, hey, can I come shoot? <laughs> you know? It's amazing how things work out yeah, sometimes. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. All right. Hope to see you soon. Absolutely. Good. We always love to do those kind of local pop-up meets, but this one was so much fun because it just had a different vibe, you know? The background was amazing, the weather was great. It was so funny because a bunch of people were driving by. I guess somebody was going to work, and then he got to work, his boss wasn't there, so he's like, whatever, I'm gonna go back to the meet and hang out. It, it was just so much fun, and, uh, I love that we had a cop there. He was super cool. And I was thinking, well, all these people leaving doing burnouts and stuff, I guess if another cop drove by, they would probably be like, oh yeah, no problem. Everybody's behaving because there's a cop park right there. <laughs> Little did he know he was a big car enthusiast. Uh, with that said, just wanted to thank everyone for coming out to that meet. It's so much fun. Those are the things that we like to do. Honestly, we're like, flying out right now. We're heading to the airport right now, but um, it, we figured it'd be good. On top of that, for how much parking we had, it was packed. We couldn't fit any more cars, and I think, unfortunately, some regular people, like maybe some tourists, were coming by trying to park, and then all the guys were saying, like, sorry, lots full, guys. Uh, go find somewhere else to park. But, uh, yeah, the, the car culture here, very strong. Very, I keep saying it. So much fun. Nice to meet everyone. Hope to come back soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.